Welcome to the Nonsensus. We're here in beautiful, wonderful, functional Detroit, Michigan on a regular old Tuesday after morning, December 37th. There's a rumor that it winters here. Clearly, that is a lie. It's a magical day and there's magical turtles all around doing all sorts of stuff, you know, just going about their Detroit lives. And we're gonna ask these people, all of which are a resident, everybody here actually lives in the spot that they're standing, a good source to put the finger on the pulse of what is so special about Detroit, Michigan in this current epoch, 2015, Earth, Detroit, America. What do you love about Detroit? Oh, uh, the Motown sound. Oh, I love Motown. Isley Brothers, this week heart of mine. is No, of not the Isley Brothers. No, they weren't from Detroit. Supremes? No, they weren't from Detroit. So, people of Detroit, we want to ask you, what is it that makes this particular metropolis so, so magical, so important? What is it about Detroit? The music. I'm talking about Emmanuel Lasky, man, and uh, Althea Barnes. She just passed away. The diversity, uh, the music, just the way everyone comes together, man. It's a beautiful thing. You ever heard of J.J. Barnes? I haven't. I'm a, I'm a young one. I'm oh, sorry. man. What do you like about it here? My crazy fingers. Look at these things. Woo! Those are ridiculous. Ooh, yeah. I like the vibe that people let you do whatever you want. So if you want to drive around in a big fucked up cockroach car, the cops love it. There's a lot of creative freedom here because, you know, it's like a broke down playground for adults. Well, for one, look around you. Uh, number two, uh, I don't know that it's exactly the city itself, but more so the people. Detroit is a city of dreamers and doers. I'm talking major innovators. As a visitor to Detroit, what do you love about this city? Tell us what you, about your experience. I'm from Boston. I got here Wednesday, and everything you hear about Detroit is not true. Place is great. People are awesome. I went to the Tigers game by myself on Thursday. It was wicked awesome. I mean, Detroit's just a whole different place. There's nothing like Detroit. I don't really know what it is, you know? I like that people are very much themselves here. Everybody is a character. It's nice to see different characters come out to play. I love that instead of six degrees of separation, it's only like two. The people are everything about this city. And Detroit is beautiful. Detroit is layer on layer on layer of just beautiful stuff. There's some scummy stuff, but even the scummy stuff is pretty. Um, Detroit can be some assholes to each other but we still love each other. There's assholes here? Oh yeah, plenty of assholes, stinky ones too. Everybody should love Detroit. Don't take what you see on the internet or hear on the TV for granted. Do Detroit not. is awesome. So you're saying the thing that's special about Detroit is Detroit-ers? Absolutely. <laughs> that is what a lot of people want to say. There's like a really tight-knit community of people who are from Detroit and from, are from around Detroit. You know? It's definitely coming back up, and you can tell that it's definitely the youth, like the younger people that are helping it come back up. This is fucking Detroit. I mean, we are a positive generation, and Detroit is the beginning of this positive generation. They're gentrifying downtown, and Midtown, and Corktown. The level of excitement here, it's just, this is every day. This is just, uh, this is commonplace level of enthusiasm. There's always something to do. Always, constantly. I like that. There's a good menu of nonsense to get into here. Oh, and food that goes with it. And drink. We're seeking food right now. Where should we go? You're seeking food? I'd say go like to Mexican Village and get some like really authentic, like Zosha Milkos would be good. That sounds really, really important. Yeah, yeah. And make sure you get cheese on it. Cheese. Cheese. We're here at the line that goes to the gate, the entranceway, the threshold, the chrysanthemum of Detroit city proper. Look at all this. Look at how high the demand is. All these turtles are immigrating from Canada. That's Canada over there. And there they swam individually. One every 12 minutes they leave. It's a whole process that they do so they can get past Border Patrol. And they all just want to come into Detroit just to be there. Just to dine here, just to be, just to dock genitals in a motel here somewhere. Cause aliens love the D. What do you love about the city of Detroit, Michigan? That is fucking wild. So what's your favorite aspect of Detroit city proper? Um, fucking her right in the pussy. Myself is my favorite part about Detroit. Yeah. Fucking no, but I just want my fucking ticket. Cause I paid $160 for this bullshit and I haven't even got my fucking ticket yet. It's outrageous, man. Like, what is so special that's going on in this, this era, this epoch of Detroit, Michigan? 
Well, the sewer smell is going away a little bit more. Flowers are blooming. It smells smells a lot better, more fresh in the city now. But I'm not saying that to say that, but I'm saying that. Detroit is like a, a, a phoenix, if you will, um, or one of those little roses that grows out of the concrete, all nice and pretty and stuff. The flowers are moving in. You're saying that the, the foliage, the fragrance is evolving. It's sublimating. Huh? Can you define that term for me? I'm not. Absolutely. It's something that was not as good and it's becoming much better. Oh. Yeah, Hell yeah. Hell Pretty much yeah. everything is coming to a new turn. Everything is thriving. Everything is growing. Yeah, we saw there was a massive line of folks at the gate to Detroit over there. We're not moving! Tons of magical turtles just trying to get into the city of Detroit. And I think that it is. It, it's the smell. So you mentioned you're from a part of Detroit that is hilly and auburn, uh, yet I don't see any hills. It seems like pretty flat land here. Is, is it better here in the flatlands of Detroit than the hills of Auburn? It really depends on what you're trying to do, honestly. If you had to answer with one thing, what's the best thing about Detroit? The drugs. As much as I love jazz, man. That's how you get people together. That's how everyone has a good time. All of the drugs. What's the best thing about Detroit to you? Uh, I'd have to agree and say the drugs. And most of it's free. That's fantastic. What do you love about being here on this fine Tuesday today? The customers. You notice that the that the hustleation like increased in severity when you entered the city limits of Detroit? My hustleation expectation was medium because Boston hustle is pretty good, but Detroit hustles harder. And this is the generation that we have going on around us that's inspiring a movement of peace and love. The people of the culture embracing and just very warm. Everyone's been fantastic. This city is absolutely awesome. Detroit is the best city to come to. Come here and enjoy some love. We're here with the Baker of Detroit, and we want to ask you, what is so special about this time in Detroit City? Like this, this time? This era. As in, oh, I, I thought you meant this moment, because like I was going to mention the fact that there are there's some women say crawling the all over. That is special. I think there's uh, some interesting rejuvenation happening. I'm not just talking about businesses and more things opening up and more employment, but I'm talking about uh, revolutions in art and culture as well. What's your favorite part of Detroit City? Of Detroit, the art community. And I think that like the degradation of our city makes the artistic expression come out so much more. It's kind of like when you see a picture of a ballet dancer in like an abandoned house. It's kind of like that. Like he's got that beauty with the like backdrop of grossness as most people most people don't understand why anyone loves Detroit but we freaking know why we love Detroit come on now it's awesome here you know what I really love about Detroit too I love that like there's a cursed name, cursed name. D Detroit is sort of like oh well there's crime there everyone knows there's crime and Robocop has to fight it and it's polluted and all this people just hear the word Detroit and sometimes Detroit. they presume that it's not the awesome place that it really is. Crime. And here is my answer to what is my favorite aspect of Detroit. Hey there, lonely girl, my only girl, you're just like a dream that for you. Pop it like it's hot. Pop it like it's hot. I feel like that pretty much sums it up then. What the the general nonsensical consensus seems to be about Detroit is that there's things happening in Detroit, good things. And good things are the results of good people. And good people are super magical. And good people are apparently abundant here. And, you know, nowhere slash no thing in reality is perfect. Actually, everything in reality is perfect. Anyway, everything has, has a dark side, as it were. But I think what we've observed today is that Detroit's lovey, happy, super magical side far outweighs, outshines the area beyond the elephant graveyard. I found that the magical fingers glow brighter in the darkness. What do I love about Detroit? In the darkness. That it's happening to me. That's when they glow the most. Oh, man. I am a nonsense man, living in the kitchen with the pots and pans. We are the nonsense men, swimming in the desert with the scorpions. I am a nonsense man, I live in the garbage with the trash and... I love you all just for existing. This has been The Nonsensus.